There, folks, good evening. It is the Earth Master here on this Sunday night, February 12th, 2023 is the date. It's about 9.50 p.m. here along the west coast in California. And the latest quake uh, looks like a 2.5 over here around the Turkey area. Still seeing aftershock activity, obviously, uh, from those uh, earthquakes there last week. Also, uh, a little odd earthquake activity out here in the uh, Pacific region. Notice that 4.5 coming in there. Let me bring up a little bit of specifics on where this is at. It looks like the East, East Central Pacific Ocean. Uh, 4.5 coming in just a little bit ago. Now, there's not a whole lot of earthquake activity specifically here out in this, uh, in this little huge basin, I should say, of the Pacific. Uh, most of the earthquake activity here going to be confined to the fracture zones and the plate boundary much further east. But... Um, yeah, kind of an odd one there. Uh, what else we got? Um, did see that asteroid, um, which is named SAR-2667, exploded over the um, the English Channel at around 3 a.m. Um, their time. Uh, it was a uh, one-meter size asteroid, not a big one. Uh, but it did uh, create a little dramatic sight as it exploded in the atmosphere, pretty much creating an airburst. Uh, it was visible across most of southern England and Wales and as far south as Paris, France. So we don't see those too often, but they did predict it uh, about uh, just a newly discovered asteroid, uh, I think about seven hours or so. And uh, kind of predicted exactly where it was going to hit and uh, it was pretty darn close to their... Uh, uh, impact location. Luckily, it was only a small one this time. All right, uh, Northern California. Got one earthquake outside of Redding up here. Uh, 13 kilometers deep for a 2.1. Not a big earthquake, but a little activity here at the northern end of the Sacramento Valley. Over here around the um, Cascadia. Did have some activity early this morning and also around noontime. A couple uh, subduction zone earthquakes. Let me give a quick peek here at the trimmer and see what we're looking at here tonight. Uh, got about 24 epicenters of trimmer, and that is confined there to the southern end of the Cascadia, uh, right underneath the Medford, Oregon area. Not a whole lot going on currently in the trimmer department, just a uh, very minimal activity. <clears throat> All right, the west coast, uh, a little bit of activity further down south here in the Southern California, 2.1 outside the Barstow area. Out in the desert of the Katy Mountains. Katy Mountains? Katy Mountains? Looks like a pretty shallow earthquake there off of a couple, couple different uh, fault systems here to the southwest. Uh, San Andreas Fault, not a whole lot going on. Um, did see some activity early this morning. 2.6 just off the Brawley Seismic Zone. Uh, aside from that, little small uh, activity up and down the San Jacinto Fault Zone. Uh, USGS, of course, showing that uh, four-pointer out here, 4.5. That one coming in earlier this evening. Uh, let's see what else we got around the Plain States here. Most of this activity from earlier this afternoon. Haven't really seen anything this evening. Some twos and threes out there. And the New Madrid zone. Uh, this earthquake from last night at 2.1. Nothing, nothing further to report in that area. Looks like a little bit of movement up here around the um, Packwood, Washington area. Near Highway 12 uh, looks like 1.1 and a 0.8. Very small earthquake activity. Let's see what else we have here across the area. One earthquake here in Honduras, a 4.2. That one from early this morning. And uh, minimal activity across the Caribbean plate today. Uh, the largest was a 4.6 earlier. This afternoon around the uh, Barbuda area. Mid-Atlantic Ocean over here. Divergent boundary. Seen a 5.0. That was late last night. Nothing popping up here this evening so far. And a look at the South America region here. A couple fours over the uh, course of the 24-hour period. Nothing major and nothing listed uh, as far as major activity goes here into the EMSC model globe either. Uh, most of the activity uh, seems as though we're still kind of concentrated around the Turkey area with a little bit of migration south here 
along the plate boundary and a new 4.0 coming in there it looks like <clears throat> uh, but the latest quake it looks like a 3.5 into this area of the java trench 220 kilometers deep it's a pretty deep one uh, a little bit of movement outside the philippines area as well a couple fours and fives and a little cluster here just south of japan seeing the couple fours up there let me see what the usgs is reporting um, getting a little uptick up here around the japan area some deeper movement as well up north 105 kilometer deep 4.3 and uh, just off the coast here of the fukushima area 4.6 56 kilometers deep so slight uptick here along the western edge of the plate boundary the pacific plate up here along the curl kamchaka trench still kind of watching it it's just it's just been hanging in there <laughs> that's all i can say about that um, i'm really surprised we haven't seen a larger quake there in recent times 4.0 the aleutian trench that is shown up here on the usgs model it looks like uh, yeah, earlier this afternoon, early evening time period, it looks like 72 kilometers deep, and uh, typical movement up there in the state of Alaska. No unusual activity to take note of currently uh, up there, and a very minimal, minimal activity here across the Big Island. Uh, Timothy did mention here that uh, the volcano folks have adjusted the, uh, or at least updated. Uh, some of the seismograph stations out here that were not working uh, a couple updates back so i want to see what's going on uh, with activity around the two volcanoes here today uh, a couple seismograph stations up here around Mauna Loa. uh past 12 past 12 hours it always disappears on me uh, past 12 hours make sure we got the most recent uh info it looks like it 212 rolling into uh um, Let's see, that's going to be Hawaii time there. <clears throat> UTC time of 0545 uh, on the next day. That's going to be correct. Very close. Uh, and by the way, a little bit of activity in Yellowstone. We'll check that in a second. And a little bit more in Dinsmore, uh, Northern California area. But as far as earthquake activity, it looks like uh, somewhat of a moderate one. That looks like a three, at least somewhere around the Big Island. I'm assuming it's going to be the uh, maybe a 2.8. That's way up north, though, so uncertain onto the exact uh, location of that quake there on the graph. Um, but I'm glad they're working. Let me check Kilauea Volcano here. I want to see what's going on. Um, no major uptick. And if, as far as the tilt meters go up here at the Mauna Loa area, I know it's been a while since we've checked that. Let's see if we can zoom in here to the tilt meter past month of tilt um still showing a gradual uptick although it looks like we're leveling out a little bit right now uh into february we'll continue to monitor that though all right uh what else we got new zealand anything going on down there in new zealand besides that uh cyclone let me check uh, earthquake models down here looks like some activity some older movement quakes uh, around the Kermadec Trench and South Island area. Quick glance here at the GeoNet servers. 2.1, nine hours ago. There's that 4.1 from yesterday. All magnitudes map here for the folks there in New Zealand. Mostly twos and ones. I'm not seeing any major uptick. No major swarms kicking off. Uh, most of the activity is scattered out and about. Uh, up and down various plate boundaries so we're not various plate boundaries but uh, various areas around the plate boundary all right uh, let's zoom in uh, to further west here around the philippines a couple earthquakes today including a 4.4 the most recent up north here about 121 kilometers deep right around the uh oh man Trying to think if we've seen some activity here a couple months ago. I thought there was a little bit larger earthquake activity there, but either way, there's a little bit of um, subduction zone activity taking place here today. Looks like 4.4, 121 kilometers deep around that uh, around that region. And uh, further west, a little bit of activity in Afghanistan. 
with a 4.0 and also into India. We've seen that earthquake come in about two o'clock this morning. And of course, over here around Turkey, things still kicking up, still uh, fairly active. The largest quake, a 4.9. Uh, we're just going to do a, a total tally here over the last seven days of uh, earthquake activity. Now, I'm trying to think if it's been over seven days or not. I don't think it has. Well, I think it has, yeah. It's been over seven days already. That is crazy. So uh, 30 days, 4.0 and above for a total tally. Looks like about 200, earth uh, yeah, 200 earthquakes, including that 7.8. Now, this is... Um, this is only going to show 4.0 and above if we check out the lowest magnitudes here you'll see uh, and there's a lot more definitely a lot more underneath that but uh, that's still a hefty hefty amount of movement uh, there is a little bit of migration down south here uh, along this plate boundary as noted over the last uh, over the last week we've seen that activity kind of kick up down here uh, close to Israel Jordan area around the Syria region uh, further west around the Mediterranean, nothing showing up here on the on the map. EMSC model, fairly quiet. Just a little bit of activity out here, it looks like. A little 1.7. Again, Atlantic Ocean, uh, very calm, very quiet. All right, uh, let's see what we got. Yellowstone National Park, as we... Well, it looks like we're missing some data here. A little bit of data blackout. Uh, but we don't, it doesn't look like we have any major swarming going on. Uh, a couple small earthquakes here over the last 24 hours listed on this graph. Nothing major going on though. It looks like the swarm has mellowed out slightly. Space weather activity remains elevated. Uh, we dropped a little bit to about 25% chance for an X flare, 80% chance for an M flare, 99% chance for a C flare. Now it looks like we are just kind of recovering from a long duration. Yeah, it kind of peaked into the M flare ca category. But an M1.0. Not a huge flare, but uh, kind of drawn out a little bit. I believe it's coming from this sunspot right here. Notice the uh, brightness kind of peaking. That is going to be... Let's see which one that is. Well, it looks like... Could be an advancing new sunspot there, an unnamed one. Uh, yeah, definitely. Look at the growth here um, of this um, sunspot. Very dynamic, getting a lot of different colors in there. Uh, and that, I believe, is where the M flare is currently coming from. Now, our monster sunspot here has basically turned into, well, a large sunspot, but not very active in terms of instability. Uh, this was looking pretty promising here a couple days ago, but now it's uh, it's just there. Uh, over here around the uh, western limb of the sun, some of these still pose a harbor or harbor uh, some threat for uh, some M flares. Uh, but got to watch this area right here. Looks like that wants to pop off and develop rapidly. And again, that's currently that regional sunspot that's arcing like that, creating that uh, nice little flaring. All other sunspots look relatively stable with no current flaring. Well, there's flaring going on, but no significant flaring. Um, and that's going to be, uh, let's see what the name's going to be here. There's so many new ones developing here. I mean, it's it's numerous. There's a lot of sunspots here. Uh, but we'll see what this thing does overnight. See what it looks like. Uh, I think these things do develop rapidly, and they also die off very rapidly. So um, we'll see uh, see if that holds up. Uh, the Aurora forecast looks pretty minimal right now. Not a whole lot going on across the area. Slight chance up into the higher latitude regions. But overall, uh, that's yeah, fairly normal. Uh, let's see what we got down here in New Zealand currently. Uh, with the Cyclone Gabrielle. Looks like it's just right off the coast here. Uh, let me bring up the satellite view and see what we got. Here's some of the high convection clouds out here. Let me go to the visible. I guess we can kind of see that a little bit. Well, it looks like most of the precipitation bands here along the southern edge of the cyclone. Again, you can kind of see that uh, discrete eye wall 
uh, convection thunderstorms and whatnot popping up. Uh, it is uh, churning up there a little bit. Current wind gusts around the um, Auckland area. Let's see what we got here uh, for data. Uh, these these are the forecast wind gusts here. Uh, wind gusts potentially up to 50, 60 miles per hour here. Um, but I'd say right now, I mean, looking at the... Uh, back out of here a little bit. Get rid of that. I really didn't mean to do that again. Goodness. <laughs> oh, it's Sunday. Yeah, within the vicinity, it looks like um, some 60 mile per hour gust out there. And as we scoot into tomorrow time frame, it should pick up slightly off that uh, coast there to the west. Kind of work its way down south and uh, dissipate slightly. Either way, uh, a little bit of uh, weather going on there across North Island, New Zealand. I was looking at some of the... Um, El Nino, La Nina patterns, supposed to, uh, we're kind of venturing into the uh, neutral phase right now. I'll have to cover that in another update, but it uh, looks like towards summertime, we're going to be flipping over to the uh, El Nino phase, which uh, affects weather uh, in various ways across the um, different regions. For us here in the States, it uh, well, brings heat, <laughs> but also affects the severe weather uh, in certain areas of the, uh, the state so we'll check that out maybe tomorrow we'll see if we can't do a little bit uh, a little bit better update on that but uh, all right I think that's it but uh, if you get a chance if you get a chance and it's all over Twitter and uh, Facebook and whatnot I'm sure YouTube as well um, of that uh, asteroid that hit tonight uh, pretty cool airburst Created a huge flash as uh, it burned up into the atmosphere for a one meter. One meter, that's not very big, just over three feet. If you really think about it, just, well, I mean, that's going to be a nice shooting star, but pretty drastic looking. Go check it out. Uh, it's all over social media right now. All right, folks, have yourself a good night. Tomorrow's Monday. We'll catch you guys back here sometime. Uh, in the morning for the update. Take care, everyone.